Hello, and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. Dogs are really cute, and I adore them. But after even a brief period of time outside, all you can smell is dirt and dog stench, and you can't help but think the dog needs a bath. Sure, there are dogs whose odor isn't quite as awful as others, but some breeds still don't exactly exude luxury. I've decided to make this video to highlight the ones that aren't quite as lovely. Please accept my gratitude for watching this video and subscribing to my channel. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can be among the first to know when I post a new video. That is very helpful and much appreciated. Number 1. Saint Bernard. This dog stinks three times as much as other dogs, it has gas. It is known for having skin problems that make it smell bad. It drools a lot, and that drool gets into its skin and doesn't make it smell great. When this dog is on a roll, it doesn't always smell clean and wonderful. It has been known to have some of the smelliest gas and skin around, if it isn't bathed well, and if the drool on its fur isn't cleaned well. Number 2. English Bulldog. This breed is known for having so much gas that it can make an adult cry. But it doesn't help that this breed is prone to a number of skin conditions that make the dog smell bad because they are in their genes. The thing about this breed is that it is way too cute for its own good, but it doesn't smell all that great. It's cute, but you don't want that dog in your bed every night, or you'll never be able to breathe again. Number 3. Bloodhounds. Their ears require frequent cleaning and are susceptible to a bad odor that is unique to dogs. This breed's ears are extremely large and lengthy, and they require periodic intensive care. They must be cleaned thoroughly. When they are not there, the odor might become somewhat overpowering. As long as you are capable of keeping this dog clean and caring for its ears, you will be okay in terms of maintaining a clean dog. Number 4. Boxers. They are not the type of dog that emits a foul odor. However, they produce an unpleasant amount of flatulence. In contrast to some of the other dogs on this list, they do not have any skin diseases, folds, or other abnormalities that can compromise their sense of smell, but they do have flatulence. And it's awful when these dogs get gas. The best thing you can do for your dog is to ensure that it consumes the most breed-appropriate food possible so that it receives all it needs for excellent health. Number 5. Beagle. Sweet as can be, these dogs must be adorable. This is all that can be done to compensate for this dog's dreadful body odor. Despite the fact that it is a little and adorable puppy, it does not always smell pleasant. In fact, individuals who own beagles will tell you that the dog's scent can alter the odor of the yard, and no one is inside the house with the dog throughout this process. It is not an amenity. Number 6. Sharpe. Because of all the wrinkles in its coat, you can tell that this dog hasn't been bathed recently. The dog also has skin problems, which can result in a strong smell. Anyone keeping one of these dogs as a pet has an obligation to ensure the animal's regular cleanliness and good health. Unless the skin folds are properly cleaned, it will never smell like a domesticated animal. Number 7. Yorkie. This is a breed that requires significant maintenance to keep its long coat clean and odor-free. Because of the breed's predisposition to dental caries, its odor is also less than pleasant. Would you want to be around yourself if you did not regularly wash your long hair? I can't help but picture you with your hair down to your ankles and running about the yard for hours on end. This is not a particularly pleasant concept, is it? Number 8. Cocker Spaniel. The only thing we can say is that this is a breed notorious for having a dog-like odor. It's impossible to resist this adorable dog, but be warned, it sometimes has a strong doggy odor. The dog's odor is entirely attributable to its capacity to retain the dog smell. Some people says the dogs don't stink, but I think they smell like sweaty animals that have spent the day outside. Number 9. Pugs. Anyone who has spent any amount of time around pugs will attest to the fact that this is a breed notorious for emitting a less than pleasant odor. Additionally, the dog has several skin wrinkles that, if not regularly cleaned, might become infected and smell bad. The scents coming from their bodies are far more dangerous than their adorable appearances. It's important to use caution with this one. Maybe it's best to leave it in the living room. Number 10. Basset Hound. Despite its cuteness, this species has problems with flatulence and body odor. While it may seem obvious to some, this breed of dog is not able to tolerate repeated washes. You shouldn't subject your basset hound to frequent baths because it can dry out his skin and cause health and skin problems. 
One option is to just get used to the dog's odor, while the other is to get a new dog. Number 11. Maltipoo. Those dog ears don't carry much of an aroma. They frequently have ear mites, the cause of which is unknown. There's usually an odd odor to them. The ears on this dog aren't attractive and they have a foul odor. Number 12. Lhasa Aso. There's a good chance that this dog may pick up an unpleasant odor because to its long coat. While a foul odor is not common for this breed, neglect might lead to an unpleasant odor if proper care and cleaning procedures are not followed. Cleaning a dog with this much fur on a regular basis is essential to avoiding the development of unpleasant odors. Number 13. Irish Setter. Without proper care, even though this breed typically does not have a strong odor, it can develop one. Ear mites are a common problem for Irish setters and can lead to a painful infection. The odor is unbearable if nothing is done about it. In fact, the smell may be the first clue that a dog has an ear mite infection. Scratching isn't necessary because the odor will give it away quickly. Number 14. Newfoundlands. Although they are visually stunning, these dogs have a reputation for being chronic droolers. Of course, drooling isn't a huge issue in and of itself, but it can become one if you're not around to deal with it. What I mean is that these dogs tend to drool quite a little, and if you don't remove the drool from the dog's fur and skin on a regular basis, the dog will start to smell bad. If you wipe him down with a rag once a day, he should be okay. Number 15. Mastiffs. Mastiffs, much like St. Bernard's, are large and very furry dogs. They tend to drool on a regular basis, and that can cause them to smell less than pleasant. When drool is stuck in the fur of a dog and left there without care or cleaning, it can cause a less than pleasant odor. A slight cleaning on a daily basis, however, can make a big difference in the way that your dog smells. Number 16. Chihuahua. There are a lot of teeth for such a small dog because its mouth is so narrow. Because of this, it's no secret that many chihuahuas experience dental disease. Their teeth are easily decayed, which can lead to a foul breath. It's important to take your dog in for regular checkups at the vet to make sure his mouth is healthy, especially if the odor is becoming intolerable. Number 17. Poodles. Unfortunately, poodles are another dog breed whose breath can become unpleasant due to tooth decay. While on the whole these dogs don't have a bad odor, when their teeth start to get out of hand, that can change. If you notice that your dog has consistently bad breath, it may be time to take it to the vet. Overcrowding also makes tooth decay more common in toy and miniature poodles, making this a breed more prone to the problem. Number 18. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. When the teeth of a dog of this size crowd together, it can lead to a number of health problems. When this dog's breath starts to smell worse than usual, it's usually a sign that it's dealing with tooth decay. It can happen without your knowledge and result in a very foul odor. The good news is that with the advice of your veterinarian, you can take dietary and other preventative measures that will make it significantly simpler to avoid this. Number 19. Peckin G's. It's true that the Peckin G's is a small breed of dog. This explains why, despite its small mouth size, it has so many teeth. This increases the likelihood that the dog will experience dental problems. This can lead to serious cases of bad breath and other issues that make the dog smell unpleasant. Of course, with the right veterinary care and a balanced diet, you can reduce this and make your dog smell a little better. Number 20. Maltese. The Maltese is playing two scent games at once. Although this dog is beautiful and rarely stinks, it does have a history of dental problems that should be addressed. Aside from that, this is a breed that requires regular grooming to avoid excessive odor. Those are the 20 dog breeds I think stink the most that I've compiled. In general, these 20 breeds of dog are among the stinkiest, so you may want to keep looking if you prefer a dog with a more pleasant odor. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and you'll be among the first to know whenever I post a new video. All of this is really appreciated.